Uh, in this particular demonstration I'm going to show you how to loop through a set of records and make a change to every record. In this case I'm going to change the company IDs and sequentially number them from 1 to 5. Okay, to do this I no longer need to filter out, I want to find the whole record set to ensure that I get every record. Okay, so I get rid of my WHERE clause within my SQL statement. I'm not going to delete the rows because this would delete all records if it was allowed to run. Uh, and uh, basically I'm going to um, put in another statement here that if records are greater than zero, so that if there is an error and there didn't find any records at this point in time it would just simply let it pass. And I'm going to do a loop and I'm going to loop through each record independently. Now I need to move my update row into that loop because uh, it must update each record as I make my changes. I'm also going to add a couple of other things to ensure things go in sequence. First off is I'm going to reset I to a 1, the number 1, so that it starts counting at 1. And uh, then I'm going to also ensure that the found set of records we start at the very first row of the found set. Um, now, uh, in other opportunities, we could actually function that set, set alphabetically or all different things. Now, what I'm going to do is set the value of the company ID field to equal I. Now, if I was allowed to let this run at this point in time, it would set that company ID field to exactly the same number, number 1. So I now need to ensure that 1 is actually incremented by 1 each time we do the loop. To do this, simply put I equals I plus 1 uh, and that will increase it by 1 every time. Now what we'll do is we'll loop through up until we've got what we run out of rows. So it's loop while uh, the record set next row exists. Uh, if you watch the found set now you'll see that they will change as they have to uh, incorporate numbers 1 to 5.